Welcome to Southern Spain. This is a wonderful day. So hitting that like button right out of the gate will make it even better. Woohoo! And thank you. Today we are dealing with the keepers of what I have considered icy yogurts for the past year. Year and a half in one case, like my Zelemnia Midas, and we're going to be addressing this one first because it concerns me the most. But I'm going to have to change the camera angle, so I'll be right back. Everybody is going into a semi hydro setup. I have some soda bottles that I've prepped with some little holes there with a reservoir. Everybody is going into lava rock as well but I have chosen different size of lava rock depending on the size of the roots. And well, Zelemnia Midas was a fabulous orchid for quite some time and then it just went, hmm, keeled over. It was always in lava rock. You can see there's a new growth. I didn't even see that new growth, so it's a good thing that we're addressing this now. She was always in lava rock and she was growing great. She even bloomed beautifully for me. And then one day it was just downhill from then on in. New growth, fantastic. It was up against the container like this. I didn't even see it, so I hope we're okay timing wise. But you see this one is an older growth that sort of deteriorated in the back. Yeah, she was a beautiful big orchid and then just collapsed. So what we're going to do is maintain, oh, look at that root system. Okay, we need to keep that. So what I'm going to do is just cut off the hob material around the edge. <laughs> she says, there's not really that much that I can take off without cutting into roots, which I don't want to do. So we'll take that off. And let's look at this side. We can take that off. I mean, if the roots are happy in this material, they're also very welcome to stay. But what I want to do is kind of take off all this nasty in the back here as well. Let's see. Let's see if my snips are good enough for this. Yes, it is. Perfectly fine. I think that's kind of all I want to do with it. And I want to get this done today so that it all can dry out at the base because it's a beautiful warm day and it's not so windy today. At least they can stay outside while they dry out. And I say they because we have keikis to pot up as well and cuttings of a gyrat kiku, a brasso cattleya gyrat kiku. Will you come off? To cut you off. Alrighty. The Selemnia Midas has been in ICU for more than a year now. So let's see. Very fine roots, small lava rock. We'll take that all the way up to the reservoir. Fill it up all the way to the holes. And we put our orchid inside. Change my mind. Hang on a second. I want the tag by the drainage holes. There we go. That's better. Now. That'll do for now. That should work. Keep the vase nice and airy. Let that dry out. Moving on to the next one swiftly. I have two pieces of the Brassocatlia gyra kiku that I'm going to pot up separately because if they both grow on, then I can give them away nicely. We have roots covered in algae. <laughs> the paper towel they were sitting on has since deteriorated, <laughs> decomposed. So we'll just clean those roots up a tad. We have a new growth that is going to rot if it doesn't dry out soon right here. 
So good time to get this in a pot, get the base dry. And I don't think I need a support. Not sure. I haven't prepared a support, but we shall see. Brassavola roots love to be in a wet dry cycle. Semi hydro, of course, is not a wet dry cycle. So I'm going to go with larger lava rock. Not super large, but larger. That's one. Let's check out the other one. <laughs> so we have some dead growths in the back here. I'm going to keep those intact. I'm not going to cut anything off. I'll just get the gunk out. Little new growths are trying. So we'll work with that. I may need a support here. We'll see. I don't have a label for these. I know what they are. There we go. <laughs> Let's see how they fare in lava rock because if this works, well, the piece that they came out of is still in Lekka and self-watering and that hasn't really worked very well. So I may change her up as well, but I'm waiting for new roots to come. So we can get rid of that. And now we have Dendrobium Berry Oda Keikis. They are gonna go into the same pot. One of them actually is in bloom, but as I pull the orchid out, maybe I'll lose some blooms, we'll have to see. I'll be gentle as gentle as I can. It'll be nice to have this little bit of color, but I don't want to ruin the roots. But if I pull her out the other way, maybe it would be easier on the blooms, maybe too stressful on the roots, we'll see. Let's give that a go. Oh. You know, dyslexic tendencies, they do creep in every once in a while. <laughs> All right, let's clean her up a little bit here. I don't normally do this with my berry odors. You can see that the cane is quite desiccated. Holding on to the blooms, but I'm, gone. I'm not taking the blooms off. I want to see how far that orchid will go. Here's the other one. And I could cut off some of this hob material without chopping into any roots. Although, you know, this one's going to be so much more forgiving because it already has its own new growth coming. So it wouldn't be an issue if I did get into the root system. And here you can see how the cane is much, much more chubby. It looks a lot better because of its supporting root system and no blooms. Just goes to show how much energy orchids take when they bloom, when you just see one orchid with blooms and then the next one without. What a difference. Even this one grew a growth because it wasn't blooming. So what we're going to do with that one, the idea being is to pot them both up into the same little container. Is that gonna work? I'd like them up close together. I may have to do a little bit of a fandangle here. Hang on a second. We're gonna cut a wedge into the hob material like that and get that cane in nice and close like that. That'll work for me. Now, these are very accustomed to water basically because of the setup I had before, these are just used to cond condensation water, which is pretty cool in itself. I never really had to water that orchid. So this is gonna be interesting to fill this one up with the hop filter material blocking <laughs> my filling up position. All right, first of all, let's check where our 
holes are. Move the orchids a little bit around. Let's get the tag in. And let's find a third hand. <laughs> this is all a little bit laissez faire today. But I thought I'd take you along for the ride. And I appreciate that you're here watching me trying to maneuver all this. We'll wait for the tag until I have some more stability in the pot. Let's just get some lava rock in on the side first and then we can just, we can always shake it around. Now normally I like to fill everything with water because the material bashing on the velamen of these roots, it's a little bit harsh, but I'm dealing with the dendrobium so I'm not too fussed. And we can raise her up as we get the media down and in there. So I've got the same size lava rock as I did for the Brassocatlium. It's worked for me with dendrobium cakeys in the past. So I'm just going to stick with what works. Get some more out. Oh, the fiddle. Now we can get the tag in. There we go. <laughs> One more thing. My shelves are looking much tidier inside because of all these different kind of pop bottles that were standing around. I don't like the look of them. So at least this is a bit more uniform. But we have one more thing to do. Water them in. Even though the roots were wet, they don't know dry lava rock. So we'll keep them nice and wet for the time being. And we're going to destroy that water tension. Wow, that's interesting. Did you see that? The water didn't come draining out. We have to break up the water tension. Okay, this one, huh. I'll just snip a little kink into that hole. It seems to be a little bit too small for the water to actually drain. That's the first. It's not as if the lava rock is blocking them. Note to self, make your holes bigger next time. If there is a next time, that is. Never a dull moment, hey? Unexpected little turn of events, <laughs> but they're in their pots. Now I know I need to make my holes much bigger if I'm going to repeat this with the soda bottles. Personally, I don't like the look of them at all like this, but for the interim, it'll work. And we're going to cut into this as well and finish this one off too. There we go. Right. <laughs> a little impromptu video in the sunshine with a plot twist. <laughs> Either way, I hope you enjoyed it and we'll just watch the progress on these guys. Hope that they develop and grow on. I'm pretty confident about the berry odor. I would like to get these two to recover and definitely I don't want to lose my Zalemnia Midas. But anyway, I hope I haven't lost you after this video. <laughs> Thank you so very much for watching. I wish you a beautiful day on that one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care, bye. <laughs>